So, in the last lecture, we have seen an important property, an interesting property of reciprocal lattice that the reciprocal lattice vector h k l or g star h k l as I have denoted it here is perpendicular to the plane, the real lattice plane h k l. Now, today we will derive another interesting relationship that is the length of the reciprocal lattice vector is reciprocal of the interplanar spacing of the h k l plane. So, d h k l is the symbol for interplanar spacing and that also requires a definition, a careful definition. It is not so obvious what is d h k l and sometimes it is left uh, little undefined, but uh, we should define it precisely. So, the way we will define d h k l is to construct planes given any h k l we will construct planes with intercept n times a by h n times b by k and n times c by l h k l are number a, b and c are length, n is again an integer. So, all these are 3 lengths, what you are having is 3 lengths which will vary as you will vary n. So, for n is equal to 1, you will have a by h, b by k and c by l as intercepts and considering these as 3 intercepts, you get a plane. The next plane for n is equal to 2 comes at 2 a by h, 2 b by k, 2 c by l. Similarly, 3 a by h, 3 b by k, 3 c by l. So, you let n vary over all integers. So, n, n varies over integers that is n can be anything from minus infinity minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2 and so on. These are now periodically spaced planes, because first plane is making intercept a by h on the x axis, the next plane is making an intercept 2 a by h the next plane is making an intercept 3 a by h. So, on the x axis you can see they are going in a periodic way and same with y and z axis. So, in the space also they are periodically spaced with a fixed spacing. That fixed spacing is what we are defining as the d h k l of this set of planes. So, spacing between any two successive planes is the d h k l. So, let us say for n is equal to 1 we have the spacing a by h b by k c by l intercepts not a spacing intercepts. So, if I have my axes all I have to do is to make a plane with x axis intercept as a by h, y axis intercept as b by k and z axis intercept as c by l. So, I get a plane. Notice that this is on only a piece of plane when we say plane actually you have to extend this in your imagination. This is only part of the plane intercepted by the 3 axes. So, the plane is actually extended into infinity of which this triangle is only a part. Now, if I take n is equal to 0 you will get all 3 intercepts as 0. So, that means that plane will be passing through origin. And we will draw that plane 
passing through origin, but parallel to this original plane. So, which means now these two planes are spaced by some distance and that distance is what we will call the d spacing. So, we can also say that d spacing is distance from origin of the plane with intercepts a by h b by k and c by l this will become because the distance between this plane this plane and this plane since the red plane is passing through origin you can drop a perpendicular from the origin onto this plane that will also be same dhkl so now, let us try to establish that relationship, the relation between uh, relation between g star h k l, the reciprocal lattice vector h k l and the plane h k l. So, let us let us drop a perpendicular. O p, we are dro dropping O p a perpendicular on the plane A B C, plane A B C is my H k L plane, which means O a is it is H k L plane. So, from what we have said O a the first intercept is A by H, O b the second intercept is B by K and O c the third intercept is c by l that is the meaning that is the definition of Miller indices that is the meaning of an h k l plane. So, we get these three intercepts and we drop a perpendicular by very definition of what we said about d h k l the length O p is d h k l and from what we have proved the earlier relation between g star h k l and the plane, we know that g star h k l is normal to the plane. So, which means g star h k l is also in the direction o p. So, g star h k l is in the same direction from the previous previously established relation that g star h k l is perpendicular to h k l, o p is perpendicular to h k l. So, g star h k l is parallel to o p. Okay. Now, let us uh, let us join p with a, let us join p with a. this green line P A and consider the triangle O P A. What is G star H K L? Sorry? What is G star H K L? G star H K L is the reciprocal lattice vector which means h k l are components with respect to 
the reciprocal basis. So, that means it is a vector with h as its first component with respect to a star. So, it is h a star similarly k is the second component with respect to b star and l is the third component with respect to c star. So, we are showing only a b c we are not showing you a star b star c star that will make my drawing too complicated but we are assuming that a star b star c star has been calculated and they are also existing somewhere in this space and now i am going h times a star k times b star and l times c star if i do that then from the relationship we the first relationship which we established last time that g star h k l is supposed to be perpendicular to the plane and that is why I am uh, confident to draw my g star h k l vector also along o p because I said o p is perpendicular to the plane g star h k l is perpendicular to the plane. So, g star h k l is parallel to o p then g star h k l is in the same direction as o p. So, now since o p is perpendicular to p a so, we have this as our right angle, this is our right angle. So, you can say that O p is projection of O a on O p okay, in this direction, in the normal direction. So, O a is being projected because if you draw this triangle let us say we draw it like this we are going O p this is O a and this is A p and the angle A p O is 90 degree because in this orientation sometimes it is little disturbing to see we usually like to draw it this way. So, you can see that O p is projection of O a in the triangle in the right triangle A O p in right triangle each of the either the base or perpendicular both of them are projection of the hypotenuse because you go by perpendicular lines. So, O p is projection of O a on O p now projection how can you write in terms of the vector. Yeah, dot product of O a with unit vector along that direction. So, unit vector along g star h k l. So, O a dot n where n is the unit vector along O p. So, which means this is O. Now, O a, O a is what vector? O a length is a by h. So, vector is vector a by h. So, O a is a by h and n we can write in terms of because we know one vector along that direction that is g star h k l. So, we can write this as g star h k l divided by the magnitude of g star h k l that is the unit vector n you are happy with this. Now, g star h k l as I defined 
is nothing but H A star plus K B star plus L C star So, now this is a dot product here. So, we can take a a dot inside. So, we have h a dot a star plus k a dot b star plus l a dot c star. Now, what is a dot b star? That is 0. a dot c star? 0. And a dot a star? 1. So, you get the very interesting result. H into one, the numerator and the denominator H cancel, so you get DHKL as one by G star HKL, or if you want to write it in terms of g star h k l. So, length of this is what we wanted to prove length of g star h k l is nothing but just by 1 by d h k l. So, this actually gives you a formulation also of finding d h k l. If you have to determine d h k l of any plane in any crystal, you should look for the corresponding reciprocal lattice vector and find its length. That is the easiest way, easiest mathematical way. Otherwise, if you try to actually draw the plane and do the geometry, you can do without reciprocal lattice, because the plane is in real space and we have already drawn the plane and we have dropped the perpendicular from the origin. You can always do sufficient geometry to find that distance of that plane from the origin to get your DHKL in real space itself, but that is going to be a little bit more challenging if you actually try to do that than finding algebraically the length of reciprocal lattice vector. So, the unit of reciprocal lattice vector as you have seen the very definition that a star was b cross c by the volume of the unit cell. So, if you think in terms of angstrom as the unit of b and c, so you have angstrom into angstrom by the volume is in angstrom cube. So, you have 1 by angstrom. So, you can see that the reciprocal lattice vectors will have length which is 1 by angstrom or 1 by meter. That is one of the justification of using the word reciprocal and we will keep seeing that there are many other justification for the word reciprocal just now we saw now the DHKL of real space is reciprocal of G star HKL.